Every day, millions of individuals are affected by joint inflammation, limiting their daily activities and holding them back from achieving their goals. There are many causes of joint inflammation, including bacterial and viral infections, fatigue, trauma, and degenerative changes. Recent studies exploring the causes of inflammation in arthritis have begun to shed light on a new culprit, one previously thought to act only for your well-being, platelets. These are cells that are found throughout the body and have long been known to aid in wound repair. The process by which platelets are shown to cause inflammation can be broken down into four simple steps. Step 1. Platelets become activated. Step 2. Microparticles are released from platelets. Step 3. Microparticles bind to synoviocytes like pieces of a puzzle. And Step 4. Great quantities of cytokine 2-6 are produced by synoviocytes. Cytokine 2-6 then goes on to cause inflammation in the synovium. Let us now have a closer look at these four steps. As many of us know, arthritis is characterized by the inflammation of joints and is often accompanied by pain and stiffness in the area. But why? It all takes place in the synovial fluid, which is the lubricating substance that helps our joints rotate smoothly. Cells located in the synovium, the tissue that surrounds the joint, produce this fluid. These cells are known as synoviocytes. Platelets, which are the most abundant component in this fluid, can become active in a variety of ways involving interactions with these synoviocytes. These active platelets produce microparticles that exit the platelet by passing through the membrane. These microparticles go on to bind with the surface of the synoviocytes like one puzzle piece to another. This results in the production of great quantities of the inflammatory protein cytokine 2-6. The presence of high quantities of cytokine 2-6 leads to swelling of the joint lining and surrounding tissues. A study designed by Eric Boylard of the Harvard School of Medicine and his colleagues further investigated this inflammatory role of platelets in arthritis. Human synovial fluid was drawn from the joints of patients suffering from varying forms of arthritis for therapeutic and diagnostic reasons. The team used a platelet-specific marker to identify platelets in the synovial fluids. A marker is an element that becomes part of the platelet and when viewed under the proper light conditions will cause the platelets to stand out from their surroundings. When the research team looked at the samples using a high-powered microscope, they noticed something odd. They did not see platelets as they expected, but instead saw a large quantity of microparticles. These microparticles contain the platelet marker, which meant they had to originate from platelets. They were now curious as to the effect these particles could have in causing joint inflammation. To see the effect the particles were having in the joints, the team needed to collect joint tissue samples. But these could not come from a human for ethical reasons, so they settled for mouse joint tissues, which are a close substitute. The researchers needed mice with arthritis, but how can you be sure a mouse has arthritis? That's easy. You simply give them arthritis. How? The team had at their disposal a serum that causes arthritis to develop. Once the mice showed symptoms of arthritis, most notably swelling in the ankle, samples of joint tissues were taken for further examination. These samples were allowed to sit in a solution containing platelets, with the marker, in hopes of observing an interaction. Again, using a high-powered microscope and the proper lighting, the team observed microparticles attached to the synoviocytes and a high amount of cytokine 2-6 protein, suggesting that the microparticles stimulate its production. So to recap, the process by which platelets are shown to cause inflammation can be broken down into four simple steps. Step 1. Platelets become activated. Step 2. Microparticles are released from platelets. Step 3. Microparticles bind to synoviocytes like pieces of a puzzle. And Step 4. Great quantities of cytokine 2-6 are produced by synoviocytes. Cytokine 2-6 then goes on to cause inflammation in the synovium. So now we have new evidence implicating platelets as a factor in joint inflammation. So what? Imagine a world where inflammatory arthritis has long been forgotten where aging doesn't have to be painful and inhibiting. It's a fantasy world, right? Well, it doesn't have to be. 
Understanding this pathway to inflammation involving platelets, pharmaceutical companies can begin to develop new treatments to stop inflammation at its source. We all know of someone with an inflammatory arthritis condition. We know how difficult simple tasks can be for them. This new research may be exactly what they need to win their daily race.